All right, folks, I got a new challenge for you. And now I'm just showing this hive just because it's the culprit. But I'm not going to show you the inside or anything about it because it doesn't matter. But I'm going to tell you what happened. So I teach these beekeeping classes once a month. And, uh, you know, we talk about how to get your bees, how to get set up, you know, how to identify the clean, the drone, yada, yada, yada. And then we actually open up a hive and we pick through them for an inspection. So in the classes, I mentioned swarm cells, supersedures, emergency, stuff like that. And I personally am very adamant that the location of the cell on a frame does not define that cell. Some people will always say, you know, oh, on the bottom of the frame, that's a swarm cell. On the edges of the frame, it's an emergency cell. Or scattered about the frame, it's an emergency cell. Or if it's smack in the middle of a frame, it's a supersedure cell. To me, you can't do that. I mean, they're all queen cells. That's what I tell people in class. They're all queen cells. You as the beekeeper have to inspect the hive to know what's going on. So of course then people tell me, okay, well how do I know? You know, I, I inspect. What do I see? What do I find? Well, if you find an existing queen, well here, we'll say this. You can't find a queen at all. And you can't find any sign that there was a queen there for, and you can't find any eggs, no sign of any queen and you see a lot of cells scattered about, it's probably an emergency. That's a pretty fair guess, it's an emergency. If you find a queen, it could be two things. It could be supersedure, it could be swarm. This is what, now this is what I told you from the class. Okay, so don't, you don't have to quote me on this. Please no one comment and tell me I'm wrong, but this is the way that I look at it logically. If you find a queen, it could be one of two things, supersedure or swarm. If you find one cell in the middle of a frame just the one cell and you see the signs like a spotty brood pattern maybe no brood pattern to me that's a dead giveaway that's a supersedure if you find the queen and you find eggs and you find a good population of bees and you find several cells scattered about not necessarily on the bottom but scattered about it's probably a swarm so I had just told the class this and someone said oh man you know will we get to see a swarm cell and I said well I hope not because a swarm cell or they said well we get to see queen cells I said I hope not because queen cells always means something's going on and I'm not prepared to deal with that today. I don't have any extra boxes with me or anything. Uh, so anyway, we pop open the hive and right off the bat, queen cells. Yay, good for me. It's not what I wanted to find, but it's what we found. So I said, well, I said the population of this hive doesn't appear that strong. They could be swarm cells. Could be the hive is swarmed out. You know, it doesn't. the hive's not crowded by any means, so maybe they've already swarmed. And then we pull a second frame, bam, there's a queen. Marked queen, the one that I knew was in there. So now you've got a situation where there were eggs, there were everything indicated to swarm, or swarm, you know, the desire to swarm, but the population wasn't strong. The hive that I took this from was a double deep with a double medium on top of that. They had all the room in the world to want to swarm, or, you know, to want to want to grow out. Not crowded at all, but had, were pulling swarm cells. So, you know, I was thumped. I really was. I just told these people, you know, oh, yeah, this is how you, this is how you tell it. And then I come across that. So, you know, now I find myself thinking, I don't know, you know, it's possible, I guess, they kicked off a, a queenless swarm, I guess, and left the original queen behind. Um, I don't think it was supersedure, although they weren't. I caught the queen and I moved her to a new box, and I shook some of the bees, moved her into this box, and I shook some of the bees over to it, and they didn't really seem all that excited to be with her. And maybe it's just because they weren't too stirred up. You know, when I do removals and I catch the queen and move her, the bees are all sorts of displaced, you know, so then they're happy as clams when they find the queen, so they just cover the cage. But in this case, they just kind of act like she wasn't there. Um, but they're in the box now. I haven't popped the lid off in a couple days. I uh, just made a real small split, just enough to take advantage of that queen and left the queen cells to hatch out for whatever's going to happen. But I'm just kind of curious what y'all's thoughts are on this one. So again, active queen. She looks healthy. She looks fine. Um, multiple cells. So not what I would call supersedures, and on the edges of the combs, where most people would say there were swarms, but the population is not high enough to warrant a swarm. The population on this hive was never high enough. When I when I made this when I made that hive up, uh, probably just two or three weeks ago, when I last worked on it, the population wasn't all that high, and I think they just recently swarmed. I can't remember for sure, but the population was not that high. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what your thoughts are. If you've seen this, like I said, it. It looked like swarming, but to me there was just was not enough bees to want to swarm at all. I mean, there's no reason at all why they should have wanted to swarm. Um, 
but that was the that was the indicators. I mean, the queen was there. She was laying. She was active, um, but pulling what looked like swarm cells. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think.